Lau. What is up, family? It's your friend, the goat, the king, the dawn. Professor T is back in the house with some more reactions. Still frustrated because YouTube's discovery system is horrible. Hold on, can y'all hear that? Sirens going off. All right, well, we gotta, we're just going to roll with it. It won't last forever. So here's the thing. Um, today, yet another person says, I can't find people that are new because YouTube, you guys need to make a better content discovery system so I can see people who I haven't seen before. I do get another artist that I know personally. So this is Dreaming X Corey James produced by Corey James. Wait a minute. Is this a, is the song titled Dreaming? So it should be Dreaming by Corey James, produced by Corey James. I think this I think it's Dreaming by Corey James, produced by Corey James, I think, because I don't think there's a feature on this. I'm not gonna do not, I'm not gonna say nothing about that, but that's just already I have a critique for you. And I know you personally, so I can go hard on you a little bit. We, I know you like that, that I can go hard on you. So yeah. Yeah, the critique right there just keep that in mind because when you do x that usually means that it's that artist featuring that artist so if it's supposed to be the, there's an artist dreaming if it was featuring you that you'll be good but if it's the song is called dreaming you just got to change that to dreaming by Corey jane also too i was just going to say because i know this guy personally i just think it's kind of funny that he his artist name is Corey james because jokingly and i used to call him in the hallways it's gonna be like, Corey james Corey james because that's his first name and his middle name so i would do that just like as a joke but um i just thought that was kind of funny so i just wanted to say that too so without further ado let's listen to this i'm excited because it's finally something that's not rap or craziness we're gonna see what it's talking about and i'll give you my thoughts See if it has any information in here. Original composition. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta stop. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Don't. Don't. Bruh. We are black. <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry, I can't act like that's not funny. You start. <laughs> we are black. And the opening line, <laughs> the opening line is cookouts with Kool Aid, <laughs> spades, spades games. <laughs> Bruh, I can't act like that wasn't funny. All right, I'm sorry. I'm gonna run it back. I'm gonna shut up. I just, <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't pretend like that wasn't funny. All right, let's hear the rest. Oops, I just dropped something. Nice. I like that. The horns came in it's real smooth. I like that. That was real smooth. Okay, nice. Nice. I like the lyricism. It's clean. Nice. You trying to say like some real like conscious stuff with the lyricism. Okay. 
get a nice torn solo at the end. Nice. Okay. Nice. This is nice. Very relaxing, very smooth, nice and jazzy. This is cool, bro. You know, this is good work. You know, I see you don't have a whole lot of us uploaded. So yeah, and from based on when I knew you, I know that you probably are new with this. So this is pretty good for just getting started out, my guy. Good work. I like it. Like I said, I decided, uh, sorry for laughing at the beginning, but I couldn't act like that's not funny. That's hilarious. But hey, bro, the lyrics is relatable. So, you know, you, if you get a reaction out of me because the lyrics are relatable, that's a good thing. So don't be offended. But that was funny, though. I just like <laughs> cookouts with Kool-Aid. Oh, my God. Space games. <laughs> but I can relate to it. That's, that's, so that's good lyricism right there. So. So I would do like I do. That was my first initial comment. So let me give you the critique. Because you already know I had to give you the critique first before I do the compliments. I like to I like to get that part out the way. Then I, then I end it on a positive. So the critiques. I would say that the song. I like the. I actually really like the instrumental. But the critiques that I have for that is just that. There's something that is not. Like I said. Because I know you personally. And I like you or respect you. I want you to know this is not. This is the it's critiques. It's a suggestion. All right, and I've said this about other people. So the critique and the suggestion I would do for the beat is kind of flat, and because it, and it has a lot to do with kind of just the production and how it's mixed, kind of what it is. The production of it is kind of sparse, but the thing is, if you're gonna do the sparse production, you kind of kind of have it mixed in an exciting way. You kind of have have to have things pop out of the mix a little bit, like in terms of playing with the volume. And the panning, so like maybe with the drums, you could have the drums a little bit louder, had like the little cymbal hit to one side of my ear, and then you know, you could have had some other sounds, like maybe had the trumpet over to this side in the mix, and then also, too, with the trumpet with horn sounds, I really like that. That was a cool horn line that was going on. So, for that, I was just gonna say for the mixing of that, you know, like I said, I know that I could tell it looks like you're a little newer, you haven't really done this for as long as I have. So we kind of you you're mixing horns. Don't be afraid to get uh, crazy with it. Usually, what I do for the horns, I will um, do a little bit less low end, but I'll make it a little bit louder. And you can use compression on horns if you got that far home mixing to know about compression and all that. You can use compression on horns if you want to bring things out. And with that beat in general, I like it. I think that with that, I, it sounds like it wasn't quantized. So for that, I would say for a song of this style, if it sounds like it was looped. I don't know if it was, but it sounds like it was. So if you loop things, you probably you usually do want to quantize it. Or if you don't, just make sure that that loop is symmetrical enough so that you can tell that it's not a loop. Because that's the thing with that. When, when, when it's slightly, you know, a little bit human sounding, so everything isn't perfect, you can tell that it's a loop a little bit easier. And it, it kind of sounds looped to me, for, to my ear. I might be wrong about that, but that's just the way that it sounds. And then for the drums, just, you know, like I said, for the drums, just mix up a little bit different. And maybe my critique would be a little bit more different drum sounds would have made it uh, cool for, for the future, for the next song that you do. And then um, the only other critique that I'll say, just with the vocals, I think it could have been a little bit louder with the vocals. And for that, it's kind of in terms of the vocal performance more than it was to mix, because they actually were mixed where I could hear everything really clear. But I think you could um, still have turned them up louder in the mix, so so I could like is because the vocals are the money. You want to hear that super loud. And then with the performance of the vocals, that's the other thing I was getting at with loud. Like it sounded kind of timid. So you hear me, I can't sing at all, but on my tracks, I just go for it. I just I just get after it. I'll be like. You guys, you can tell me that I can't sing as long as you don't tell me that I didn't sing. So just keep that in mind. You know, just go for it. You know what I'm saying? Just let it fly when you sing. Sing loud, sing proud. And then, you know, just, you know, like I said, it's kind of was a little bit timid. And I know you, you're not timid at all. So let the, let the vocals come out. You got to let them hang when you're singing the vocals of the song like this. So 
So that was the critiques and the suggestions that I have. But I like this song. It's really smooth and relaxing. It's real cool. And this is really good for, you know, if it's you're just getting started out with it. So keep going with this and keep learning more about mixing and about, you know, recording. Because he... Cause you could if you do, if you start an off sounding like this with a, a song that's this good of a concept, I know that you could you could really be something special when it turns to recording. So let's go back over there because this has earned coveted like, subscribe, and I'm gonna leave a comment. All right, so to Corey James and to all of you watching, I like what you do. Keep doing it, and I hope that you do well as you continue to learn more about music. And I, I have a, a great time listening to this, and I hope that you are too. But for now, peace to you, and I'll see you guys for the next one.